Hello, welcome to the podcast, Victoria Knits. I'm Victoria. You can find me on Ravelry as Victoria Jean and on Instagram as Victoria Jean W. This podcast is about keeping up with my Christmas knitting and everything I do in between. My last podcast, I showed you some yarn I won in a giveaway from Adrian at uh, the podcast Alternates. It's lovely yarn. It's Brooklyn Tweed. It's 100% wool. I modeled a little hat I made out of it at the beginning. And I will link to this pattern and put the pattern name underneath. I did make some alterations to this pattern, so I will put that in the notes. This yarn is lovely. It feels, it feels like it's a serious yarn. <laughs> like It's 100% wool and like I'm gonna do my job. I have a job to do and I will do it and my job is to keep you warm. I, it's a, it, it felt very good to knit with. So thank you, Adrian. I don't think I really thanked you on the last podcast, but I really, I really appreciated that giveaway. It was very nice. So what have I gotten done? Well, I did finally finish those Fruit Loop gloves. I finished these for my niece. I love this yarn. It's northbound knitting and the colorway is frisky. I think my niece will really like these. I have been pushing these Fruit Loop gloves quite a bit. So this last week I made some extensive notes and I will link to that in the show notes. The show notes are going to be right under this podcast. There's a tiny little drop down arrow and you just hit that and I'll have links to all the patterns. But I, you know, I've been encouraging people, I think, to try to make these Fruit Loop gloves, and I love them, but it did take me quite a while to figure them out, so I don't want other people to get frustrated, and so I decided I would, I would leave some notes. And if you have any questions about, about them or if you need more help, um, just message me on Ravelry. I'll be happy to help if I can. So what have I gotten done for Christmas knitting? Not much. <laughs> Last time I showed you those little socks I had done for my grandson Perry, my youngest grandson Perry. And um, those are done. So I finished a pair for his older sister Hayden. I think she'll like those. They're really cute. I hope they fit. She'll be three and a half when she gets them. So I think they should fit. The yarn is from the Wooly Marmot. I mentioned them in my last podcast. And she sent me this Green Bay colored yarn I requested. She calls it Cheesehead, appropriate. I asked her for a plain green one so I could do the toes and cuffs and heels in it. And she sent me this one, which she called Cheesehead without the cheese. <laughs> I thought it was pretty clever. And I did finish the blanket I was working on for my friend. I have a friend who's going to have her first baby this June. So I made this nice blanket for her. I made this blanket out of uh, sweet rolls in the colorway Ice Pop. And it's 100% acrylic, so she can just throw it in the washer and dryer. I also had a goal of finishing three of the string along toys from Susan B. Anderson's pattern and I did manage to get three of those finished. I did the, a frog and a monkey and this time I tried a little dog and I think he turned out pretty good. I like his little ears. Whoops. <laughs> So I'm going to make um, two more of those to add to that. So she'll have five and I just have to get that done in um, two weeks before I leave on my trip. And um, so I'll be happy to give her that little present. I think that'll be really nice. I had some more wins um, this last week. Why do I cringe when I say that? That's crazy. Wins are good, right? Who doesn't want to win things? Uh, I won a giveaway from um, Cappy at the Yarn and I, and look what she included. It's this beautiful yarn she dyed. Oh gosh, it's lovely. It's so pretty. It's uh, called Blueberry a la Mode. It's super soft. <laughs> Thank you, Cappy. 
That's a, that was a fantastic win. She sent some uh, progress keepers and a stitch marker that her mother made. They look like they're tiger eye. Very pretty. She sent along this little pouch, this little felted pouch. Uh, just a really nice giveaway. I also want to give away from, um, my cat's moving the table a little bit. I also want to give away from the yarn barfs. They sent this beautiful mug, little knitting themed mug. I love it. <laughs> it's pink. Can you tell I like pink? They sent some little minis with it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet, but they're very sweet. They also sent some pretty tea and some progress keepers that are tea themed that I can't show you, but very cute. Thank you very much. I love it. I love it all. Very nice. Something else I started in the last two weeks was a pair of socks for my oldest grandson, Russell. This is from Hannah Made It. It's the colorway Water Lilies After Dark. I am using the Porthos pattern, which is a free pattern on Ravelry, which was suggested by Wet Coast Wool's podcast. Making adult socks for my grandchildren was something I started when my granddaughter was born almost three years ago now. She'll be three in July. And I had this idea because it's easy to make um, grandchildren baby things, but I wanted them to have something to remember me by when they became adults. And I wanted them, I wanted it to be something so that they would know how much I love them. I'm not sure I'll be around when they're adults. You know, nothing's guaranteed. I don't want to be morbid or anything. But I thought it would be nice to have a little keepsake box for each of them. And so part of that was knitting a pair of socks. I have this little box I keep for Hayden. And I made her a pair of socks when she was a year old. They're really lovely. The pattern is Lindsay by Cookie A. And uh, I have other things in the box. I have a lot of uh, little photos, photos of things I knit for her when she was a baby, photos of she and I when she was younger, just so she'll know I wasn't always a wrinkled up old grandma. <laughs> and I recently started adding little notes to her box of just little things I know about her. Um, a couple weeks ago, she and I Skyped. It was so fun. And so I wrote that down. I wanted her to know how much I enjoyed that. These socks are a little extra special to me because I knit on them while her father, my son Casey, was having um, a brain tumor removed. It's been almost two years now. Hayden was not quite a year old at the time. I love this picture of Hayden looking at her dad. He was still really out of it. This was probably just the day after his 13 hour surgery to remove a brain tumor the size of a baseball. It's easy to act matter of fact about all that now, his surgery, my son. Um, it was, as you can imagine, it was so stressful at the time. Within two weeks, he found out he had a brain tumor. He needed to have it removed. He got married and he moved away. So um, there was a lot going on. So those socks for Hayden really mean a lot to me. When I look at them, they bring back a lot of memories. My son is doing well now. Um, he lost one eardrum and his half his face is still paralyzed. But other than that, he's perfectly normal. So very lucky. It reminds me of um, Deb at the podcast meanwhile at the castle she mentioned i think in her last pod their last podcast she and her sister deb was talking about how how we have more things similar as people than we do different and that's very true we all have our ups and downs uh my son's surgery was um you know a blip on the radar of my life a big one <laughs> but a blip things come and things go don't they Anyway, so I have Russell's socks going and I plan on doing that for each of my grandchildren. When they reach a year old, I uh, will have a pair of socks to put away for them and 
a little keepsake box for each of them. It's fun. It gives me something, <laughs> something extra to do, like I need something more to do. I also wanted to mention I started this um, shawl. It's the, uh, the pattern is Raina shawl. Raina. Uh, isn't that lovely? I love this color. <laughs> this is from the Woolly Marmot. Is that just delicious or what? Uh, she calls this Kiss. That's, uh, you can tell that just brings a smile to my face. I love that. And I am entering this shawl in, um, meanwhile, the castle has a uh, knit along going called the Neon neon Along Cow. And so I'm in, I've entered that in, the, in that. And also, there's another uh, knit along going by Cappy um, from the Yarn and I podcast. She is doing uh, one, two, three for me. I believe that's called one, two, three for me, Cal, uh, which is great. She has a great premise going um, that she thinks it's good to knit things for ourselves. And she's absolutely right. And it's also um, part of the theme of that Cal is to fight depression and uh, uplift everyone. What? The yarn community is fantastic, isn't it? Uh, or the fiber community, I guess, is what you would say. But it's, it's really great. It, they impress me all the time. Another thing I knit a while back that I forgot to share with you um, was the Kit Kat hat by Andre Sue. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I am watching the Eva of the Charm of It podcast. She had the idea to knit short rows on the back so that the ears on the cat hat actually stand up better. I knit this hat at the request of my friend Millie. She lives in Boise. Um, she's a wonderful person. She loves cats and she takes care of all kinds of cats. She's very generous. So I think that's about it for this podcast. Um, if you've watched before, you know I like to keep them very short. I would like to mention a couple podcasters. I've already mentioned some, but I would like to mention Julia. She lives in Germany. She has the Happy Knitting podcast. She's very sweet. I like watching her. She's a very enthusiastic knitter. There's a, another retired knitter that I know of. That's Barbara at the Flame and Fiber. Um, she hasn't been knitting for very many years, but she's, she's very good. And I really enjoy watching her podcast. When you see me again, it'll probably be a little longer than two weeks this time because I get to go visit my grandchildren. Road trip. <laughs> so uh, I can't wait. I get to visit my oldest grandson first and then I'll travel again and I'll get to visit my granddaughter Hayden and her new baby brother Perry, who I haven't met yet. So I can't wait to get my hands on him. <laughs> It'll be great. So happy knitting, everybody. Happy whatever you do. Thanks for watching and goodbye from Montana. <laughs>